I can actually, with the Series 3 Soprano, I can try to, um, I wrote a piece of music, it's a uh, commissioned piece of music, and we had one French horn, 10 other pieces with French horn, and when I, I joined in with the French horn, I could almost, you can almost uh, uh, imitate certain parts of, of the French horn so that the, the French horn became two French horns instead of, you know, two and a half. I wanted a sound, a, a broader sound, so I would join in with the French horn. Um, this horn has that quality. The player has to maybe find it, you know, find it. it it's according to what, what kind of, how far you want to go in, in sound and music, you know. So uh, the horn possesses many qualities that the, uh, the player, the, it's the player's duty to find the qualities. You can explore many kinds of, of uh, fl tones and, and, uh, and textures. And, and, and not take it for granted. A lot of people take it for granted when they, when they play the, the, the soprano. Uh, they, 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 will, they will automatically have a nasal sound, a sort of a reedy nasal sound. Because when I play this horn, people ask me after, is that a... It was, they don't see it, but they say, I heard a French horn, I heard a, a what do you call it, a, a flugelhorn sound. I heard a flugelhorn sound. I didn't see anybody playing a flugelhorn or a French horn. I said, no, this was, because when the band is playing, sometimes I put the horn and play uh, to the side and like, like a long tone. I tried to do that at the classroom when we were here with them uh, on jazz day in Paris. And uh, I, see, I saw some eyes, I tried to do that. And some of the children, they're like, I saw them go, I said, maybe, I said, maybe French horn. I tried to, you know. It's a horn that works many different ways. And it's up to me, up to the artist, up to the player to explore. This uh, it allows you to explore. Others don't. They, 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 many other horns. Uh, lock into the, the nanny goat sound, you know. The new tenor was given to me by the band as a present for my 80th birthday, the Series 3 Selmer tenor. The neck that came with the horn when I was at home playing it, it was more of a cushion, cushion, uh, open, um, uh, personal uh, sound, initial sound, that I could, you, you could almost like, uh, like the good old musicians say, if you, if you can talk through your horn, you have the neck, the mouthpiece, mostly uh, talk through it. I'd like to say a lot of people should try the saxophones that are being made now, the Series 3 or Selmer, and there is much more room to express yourself, Selmer, just like the country of France, embraced this, the, the new invention of alto sax, just like they embraced the, the, the being a, a country of culture itself, was open to embracing other new ideas from the painters and everything, and some musicians who came from America, immigrated, migrated uh, with ideas. And um, um, so I, I think maybe a Selma as a, a visionary uh, industry rather than just uh, a, an industry that makes, makes musical instruments, you know. And there's a visionary something that's being carried on through the, the Selma line, the family line, and other people that they, you know, uh, employ to be a part of the team. I didn't ask if, if um, Sonny Rollins or uh, what do they play, what do they play. I just heard the, the, the sound, but also I just heard 
the, the name Selma, he said, this is the top of the line, top of the line. And um, I got my first Mark 6, around 19, uh, I don't know, 52, 51, something like that. And I noticed that Mark 6, that, that, that Selma, was a summer that I used all through the Art Blakey years, the five years I played with Art Blakey and going into Miles Davis years, even though I was stolen, but I got another summer and it was always summer. I never, I never had played another uh, uh, horn with another name. If, they want, if you want to go as far as you, you, can, you want to go without stopping, it's best to ride, I was to ride in the, <laughs> the Selmer, which is like akin to the, the Rolls Royce of instruments, the Selmer is the, is the vehicle to, 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 to use, it's the vehicle that will take you as, as far and even further than you, you would like to go. If you want to stop, you wouldn't want to stop. If you want to maybe uh, go as far as trying to to contribute something to uh, the, the audience on a human human level, a, a human form. In other words, becoming more and more human. I think that the, the, the Selma gives you the the the, the um, uh, opportunity to actually speak. To, to people when you express uh, yourself musically, to speak. The, the, the horn is a speaker.